Dallas Police Department has launched an internal affairs investigation after one of its officers was arrested in Denton County overnight. That officer is accused of stealing more than $800 in groceries. Andrea Lucia live for us in Crossroads, just east of Denton, where apparently this all went down. Yeah, that's right. Store employees say they watched that officer walk out of this Walmart with a full cart of groceries. The officer told police it was a simple mistake, but they aren't buying his story. When a store manager flagged down police in this Walmart parking lot at 1.30 this morning, he pointed them in the direction of Dallas police officer Christopher Hankins, who he said was pushing a cart of groceries he hadn't paid for. According to a report by the Northeast Police Department, Hankins was wearing a Dallas Police Department windbreaker, along with his department badge on his personal belt and a department-issued 9mm firearm. Hankins explained he'd been waiting for his girlfriend near the store exit when he looked outside to see if she was in the car and noticed his vehicle missing. Officers say he claimed he left the store in a panic to look for his car. But employees told police Hankins spent two to three hours inside this Walmart acting suspiciously. After filling his car, they say he sat for 20 to 30 minutes on a produce cooler near the exit door, casually strolling out only after an employee manning the doorway walked away. Two officers described the strong odor of alcohol on Hankins' breath. They found his car in the parking lot. Visible inside, they say, were two partially consumed beverages that still had ice in them both of which appeared to be an alcoholic beverage. Police say Hankins had 169 items in his car worth more than $820. They never found the girlfriend that he mentioned he was here with, but store employees remember seeing someone matching her description. They say she disappeared at some point, leaving behind another cart full of items here in the store. Reporting live in Crossroads, Andrea Lucia, CBS 11 News.